Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of tassel magic. I'm Kathleen, creator of tassel magic, and I'm going to show you all the basic techniques needed to make tassels like these. Just simple methods that give you fabulous results. You can do beaded fringe, cut brush fringe, caterpillar fringe, multicolored fringe, and other fringe for your pillows, table toppers, or you can just make wonderful tassels to put on your armoire. Let's get started and have a little fun. Now we're going to make a cut skirt tassel. I'm using Lion Brand Chenille Sensations. You'll find that some chenille yarns kind of unravel very easily. This one doesn't, so it makes a fabulous tassel. First step, just tie a little knot and loop it over your first comb. Once you've got your knot tied, wind your yarn back and forth. No, no twisting involved with this style. Let's do it this way so you can see better what I'm doing. Now with this particular yarn, I'm probably going around five times. The most important thing about a cut skirt tassel is you, when you cross over to the next set of teeth, you cross over on the same side. It's easiest if it's closest to you. Then you just continue. And I'm going to cross over a little quicker. See, cross over to the next tooth at the front. And you just carry on across this, piling up your yarn. Now you'll probably wonder why don't I just wrap this around a piece of cardboard. Well, I'll show you what happens when we're fin finishing this up and you'll see why you don't just wrap it around a piece of cardboard. Now you'd carry on to about the center, should be enough for a very fat little tassel. Well, through the wonders of video, I've already finished halfway across my board. Same thing as you did before, clip it off at that end, snip your yarn. Now, I've got my favorite mint flavored dental floss and we're going to stitch across here. The reason that we're stitching across is to hold the yarn together. Tape wouldn't do it because we've got five layers there. We wouldn't be able to get it flat enough. So I go through between the teeth, taking the first bundle through here and pull my yarn through and tie a little knot. Now here's the close-up angle. Notice pushing the needle through underneath all the yarn over top my dental floss. Flip my floss back and pull it through and you've got a nice tight knot. Now I've finished sewing it all the way across the bottom. I've just tied a knot, a couple of knots just to make sure it's secure, and snip your yarn or dental floss, depending on what you're using. Now when you've got all this done, you start snipping the base. And this is why this method is much better than um, wrapping it around a piece of cardboard. See how full this is? If you had it around a piece of cardboard, you'd have one big lump. And when you went to um, trim the bottom, you'd be trimming and trimming to get it even. This is so easy. This will make a perfectly even tassel without any trimming. Just make sure you get all the loops. Or if you could, leave it loopy if you want. That would look kind of interesting too. Why don't you try that? Actually, that would be the ideal thing to do if you have some chenille that does unravel when it's snipped. Just leave it loopy. Okay, we're going to end up with a big fat tassel. And uh, took no time at all. Now when you get to the last, you'll have to catch this little knot and trim it off because it doesn't look very nice. 
Okay, now that's done. You can just pull out one of your combs and lift this up. Now take your straw and the same thing we did before, wind it around your straw. Keep the top level. Now look at that. Okay, now I'm going to have to tie it. It's my floss. Maybe I should try another flavor. I'm going to jump ahead a couple of steps. That's your cut fringe tassel. Now I have a top here that I made before. This is just some braid. Stuck it to my um, tassel top that came in the kit and painted it all copper color. And I also have some cording. We'll show you how to do that in a while. Now what you do is you take your cording and you take it through a bit of um, florist wire. Take the little button that comes in your kit. Slide that through the hole. Pull your cording up through there and just set that aside for a minute. Now this comes the trick. Take your straw and put it up inside the hole and slide your skirt up inside. See how it covers up all of the construction without any gluing or anything like that. Now you flip the whole thing over, neaten it out a little bit. So take the cord and your wire, you put it up through, pull it out the top. The straw keeps it from turning inside out. Let me see, let me get a better angle. And you just pull right up like that. And there's your tassel. <laughs>